Boom! Last Outrider here. Greetings all. In this part, we complete an almost total retcon of everything you know about the Adeptus Mechanicus. We're going to be talking about the blessed priests of the Omnissiah. Where the tech priests of the Cult Mechanicus were once thought to expand all knowledge for the betterment of mankind. Now they rip it bloody from the galaxy for their own selfish gain. Regardless of rank, office, or station, it is the knowledge of death they covet most of all. Those who lead the cult Mechanicus's armies have altered their flesh forms beyond recognition in exchange for the power to kill. Spider-like, they pick their way through a web of cause and effect, meticulously crafted before each engagement, trapping the foe in a grid-like kill zones and overlapping lines of fire. To come to the notice of a tech priest Dominus in a time of war is to render oneself an insect under the scapel of pitiless genius. And yet, these individuals are but the spear tip of their order. For the Forge Worlds play host to an organization so labyrinthine that its logic is lost even to itself. The term tech priest covers a thousand different roles. Genitors probe the mysteries of the biological, creating ever stranger cyborgs and slaughtering Xenos by the thousand in order to excise yet more secrets. Artisans create and restore truly wondrous weapons of war, from ornate gamma pistols to the mind-bogging immensity of the Arc Mechanicus. Magi of all stripes pursue esoteric agendas as likely to end in triumph as they are disaster. Across the galaxy, trans mechanics, lex mechanics, engine seers, secutors, trifactors, myrmidons, and techno shamans labor alongside the wider Imperium to bolster humanity's war machine. Within the Adeptus Mechanicus, the ranks become even more esoteric. Each fabricator locum can call upon Magi Technicus, Metallurgicus, Alchemies, Cogitrices, Pedantricum, Tech Assassins, Hive Monitors, and Holy Requisitioners, who in turn can command a body of Fabricators Minoris, Fulgurites, Corpuscari, Overseers, Underseers, Status Clerks, and techno-dervishes. To even begin to comprehend the towering edifice of the cult mechanicus takes far more processing power than the human brain can provide. Ultimately, though, the cult's citadels of knowledge are built upon a foundation of lies. The ability to truly innovate has long been lost, replaced with a reverence for the times when humanity was the architect of its own destiny. No longer the master of its creations, the cult mechanicus is enslaved to the past. It maintains the glories of yesteryear with right, dogma, and edict instead of 
discernment, and comprehension. Even the theoretically simple process of activating a weapon is preceded by the application of ritual oils, the burning of sacred resins, and the chanting of long and complex hymns. And yet, so long as the process works, or rather, so long as the cults, Mechanicus' armies, can obliterate those who displease them, the tech priests are content to tread the slippery path towards entropy and ignorance. So there you have it. That's the new the new calling of the tech priests. They they are no longer expanding knowledge for the betterment of mankind as they said. They are now interested in only one thing. How to kill people or Xenos or pretty much anything. That's all they're really interested in. That's it. Not knowledge for its own sake, not discovery, research, or, hey, that's a curious anomaly out in space somewhere. All they want to do is know how to kill things, period. Now, there's a little interesting picture here. The Holy Orders of the Cult Mechanicus. I'm going to give you a whole lot of new titles here, which they are just made up words, really. The offices and titles of the tech priests are shifting and complex. Such is their authority that many senior tech priests adjust their ranks at will. In times of war, adopting that of tech priest Dominus. So they have four basic categories of tech priests. Magi, Logi, Genitors, and Artisans. Okay, and the Magi can then call themselves Prime Hermeticon, Lord Dogma, Mechai Morbundus, Invictus Acquisitor, Gerontocrat, and Data Predator. The Logi can call themselves Lexio Arcanus, Bibliophiliac, Hyperrationalist, Monitor Malvoas, Info Executioner, Bio Cogitatus. <laughs> like I said, most of these are completely made of words, but you can now name the people in your army virtually anything you want. Here we go. The Genitors can name themselves Magos Biologus, Archimist, Grand Parasite, Metasurgeon, Corpus Illuminator, and Genitor Extremus. The artisans can name themselves Forge Lord, Mecha Sapient, Preator Electroid, Cybersmith, Techno Archaeologist, and Necromechanic. There you go. That will give you a lot of titles to work with. So, until next time, where we will talk about the Legio Cybernetica. Bye.